While at first this may appear to be a dance party, this is actually practice. Our dancing is probably what sets us, you know, apart, makes us really, really great. We as a team, when we succeed, we have fun together. Like if you come to our practices and we take BP, it's like a dance session. Like everyone's dancing and having fun and that's kind of our way to play loose and play together and work together. Senior Brooke Nelson is the team captain and is considered by many to be one of the best pitchers and hitters in state history. Good pitch! Last season, Brooke hit 833 with 21 home runs. Her league ERA was zero with over 300 strikeouts. I'd find it hard to argue that she may not be one of the best two-way players the state's ever produced. I mean, you know, she set three National Federation records last year, you know. She's been a consistent, you know, 550, 600 plus hitter in her career. Brooke is a three-time league MVP and the reigning Gatorade Player of the Year. And while her stats are mind-blowing, it's her attention to detail and the constant pursuit to get better that separates her from others. She's probably one of the hardest workers I've ever coached. She's got that moxie to her. She's, she's got that it factor a little bit, I think. She, she's a tremendous leader. Some pitchers can get in a zone and ignore everyone around them. Not so with Brooke. She's always, always talking to outfield, infield. She's always talking to everyone, keeping everyone like on the game and keeping everyone in a good mood. You have to work together with the other eight individuals on the team. Um, and so I think the aspect of the teamwork and um, just gelling as a team together, and I think that's something we as Bonnie like do really well together, um, gelling together. For Brooke, getting the chance to play with her younger sister, Bryn, is something she'll never forget. It's a dream come true to play with your best friend, you know. Having her right behind me on the field, you know, talking in between innings, um, we bat right next to each other. It's just, it, the experience is kind of indescribable. Brooke gives a lot of praise to her parents for helping her become such a great athlete. Her mom played college volleyball, while her dad played football for the Huskies. But it's not this stadium that inspired Brooke. It's this one that motivated her to play softball. I mean, I've grown up around the university, like going to football games since I was six months old. And then when I got a little older, I can walk, you know, the softball and football field are right next to each other. And we had season tickets for as long as I can remember. And just being able to like look over at that field and like tell myself that I want to play there one day was just a goal that I kept going towards and working towards. And this past November, Brooke signed a letter of intent to play for her dream school. Bonnie Lake, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.